Okay, Gold Team. I uh, am really happy to have Linda with me today. Linda Borgi. I can say that. She's told me how. Did I say that right? Correct. Okay. All right. Spot on. Good. I've gotten that. I've got that off to the right start. So Linda's with us from uh, Dazzle. Is it Dazzle Staging? Dazzle Home Staging. Dazzle Home Staging, and uh, she's a partner with us. And we are excited to have her, excited for 2021. And uh, so Linda, welcome. We're gonna be talking to our, our agents here. So um, can you tell us, how did you get into the, the whole home staging business? What, what brought you into the world of home staging? Well, it's been a while now. <laughs> I've been at this about 13 years. So going back a little ways, but um, yeah, you know, it was kind of the early, probably 2000, 2003, when the whole concept of staging was really on the cusp here in St. Louis. It was kind of a thing on the coast, but yeah. kind of a new uh, concept here. And so it took, the Midwest. exactly, we're always the last thing to get everything last place. But uh, so yeah, I had, I had done a little research on it. I've always had an interior design background, loved, you know, just working with, um, you know, I mean, my mailbox was full of, I think I got 15 to 20 interior design books a month mm -hmm. <laughs> delivered and had completely renovated every home I've ever lived in. And typically when I sold them, everybody wanted to buy the furniture. So it just seemed like a natural fit to me. And so in 2008, I decided to launch the business officially and uh, just did a couple houses that first year. And it was kind of, we were just off to the races. It okay. was just an organic thing. And um, yeah, it's just been great. Well, ever what, um, like if you were at a party and, and somebody said mm -hmm. like, what, so what all does Dazzle do? What, <laughs> what, what would be that? What, what all goes on? So somebody calls you and says, Hey, I've got, um, I've got a client who wants to stage. What's, what goes in? What happens? Well, if you've ever seen the TV shows, uh, it's a lot like that. It's, you know, it's a very fast paced uh, business. Yeah. We can get a call and someone wants their house staged, you know, two days from now, we can actually make that happen today. That's incredible. Wasn't always like that. Today we have, you know, we have a 10,000 square foot warehouse. We have a team of 11 employees. So we can get to something pretty quick and we have our systems down to a science where, you know, all of the inventory gets pulled. Our designers work in the back. They do all of the selections. Um, we'll preview a house and take all of the, all of the pictures, a diagram. Um, everything is pulled, packed, and loaded onto the truck and delivered. Um, our installers place the furniture. Our stagers follow in behind them, put everything in place, and it happens in pretty short order. So you can really, out of that 10,000 square foot, place you can just go in and grab and go and two days later you've got a house ready to wow it's a candy store yeah <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun place yeah and honestly that really just scratches the surface what we have here on hand at any time we've had up to 127 homes staged at any one given time so we have a really deep inventory of everything you can imagine from you know, modern to traditional to anything in between. So the, the other thing I know is, is that, you know, the question is, is it, I think most people know that staging is worth it. Uh, do, are there percentages out there where um, it shows that, you know, this, this house is staged and this house isn't staged and there, do, do you follow those type of percentages or know those type of percentages that talk about that? I do. I have, um, I, I've seen the, the uh, NAR statistics mm -hmm. and typically, you know, it says that a home that's staged is going to sell about 80% faster than one that isn't staged. I think it depends on the market and the timing, yeah. um, the market that we're in. I think today we're in, it's obviously a seller's market. So homes are selling much more quickly. And I right. think the name of the game today is what can you get for your house? You right. know, the, the prices are inflated people are coming in um you know they're putting their house on the market and they're getting 20 30 offers right so that's really what right we're now. seeing it's yeah. different than it was you know five or ten years ago 
um, when I first got into the business, people were offering, you know, free vacations and any yeah. kind of incentives well, you got, to get. You got, what did you say? You got in 2008? 2008. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a long time to get in. It was, it was, yeah. The market was a little different then than it is today. But, um, you know, and I do get asked that question, you know, how, what is the return on investment? Is it, yeah. you know, is it worth spending money on staging a home in a market where, you know, the likelihood of a, a home selling is pretty high. Mm -hmm. And what I tell people is, you know, it, it's, it's a really small investment and it is an investment. It's not an expense. Um, you know, yes, you, you can put your house on the market. You can leave it to chance and chances are you'll get a buyer and it'll sell. Um, but is that the result you're looking for? Or do you want an open house with 50, 60 people coming through do you want it to look like HGTV online? And right. do you want to to be able to pick your buyer and have 15, 20 offers and be able to maybe take that cash offer or Good someone point. who's willing to waive inspections and appraisals and all of that. So, yeah. you know, that's where it really can, can really pay for itself. No, that's a good point. And um, I know one of the things too, is that I think agents know when a when a home needs to be staged, I, I know that's the 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 obstacle that they come over sometimes is you know how did they get the client to understand that and do you could you share with us some of the tips of the sure. of the cab of that? Yeah, absolutely. Because a lot of times you know we're speaking to realtors and and feel like we're preaching to the choir because you guys know right. you know you know how much faster that house is is going to sell and and the price that you're gonna get if it's staged and the challenge that you're up against if it isn't because it's competing against homes that are staged. Right. And, um, you know, I think that's where experience really comes in and, you know, you guys can use your experience because that's really essentially what you're being paid for. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can tell the stories of homes that you've seen and we see it all the time. We're staging houses. Um, we staged a new construction in Kirkwood. It was a $900,000 house should have been off the shelf in, you know, in two weeks and it's lingering for two months and it's a beautiful new construction in Kirkwood. You know, why isn't this house selling? Right. And the, you know, this particular agent couldn't get the, the builder on board. And finally, when they did, we staged it under contract. I just heard today, actually the buyer wants to purchase the furniture in the house. So, Good you know, story. it's, that's it's one of the questions kind of, I was going to ask you too, is it, how often do you have people that go in on a staged house? Do they actually want the furniture? They, they do. do. It do happens that. all the time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because if you think about it, we're actually picking the perfect pieces for that, you know, specific, um, you know, spot in the home. It's, it's mm -hmm. the perfect scale. It just fits and right. Why reinvent the wheel or try to, you know, force something in there, or have to, you know, spend the time searching if it's there. So yeah, we get, asked all the time to sell inventory and we do it all the time. We sometimes we'll sell, you know, a piece, it might be a piece of artwork, yeah. um, you know, just certain things that someone might really fall in love with, or we've had instances where we've sold the entire house as it, as it's shown. So. Hmm. That's good to know. I mean, it's, I can see that happening. Cause like you said, you're putting, you guys have an eye for what fits into a certain house in a certain place in a certain room. And if that's mm -hmm. there and it's why, why not just buy it? Exactly. Yeah. And we've sort of, uh, you know, we've sort of developed our own signature style just mm -hmm. in, in our experience and having been in the business for 13 years, we stage about 400 vacant homes a year. I was so going to ask you that. You took my question. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I'm stealing your thunder. No, that's good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, so we know what buyers like. We know when we put this, you know, phenomenal piece of art in this dining room, the, yeah, you know the, the feedback trends, we're going to yeah. get. And yeah. we know what, what appeals to buyers. So we've right. kind of dialed that in. And, um, you know, so it's not a guessing game. I often hear, you know, sometimes we'll hear, Oh, well, you know, for two or three thousand dollars, we'll just go out and buy the furniture and we'll stage it ourselves. Well, the results are not going to be the same. You know, first of all, a couple thousand dollars is going to get you some furniture. Yeah. And really, the investment that we put into a home in the installation is, and we spend twice as much on just accessories, artwork, area rugs, and those type of, you know, the jewelry. Um, 
the you know the furniture itself is really just the base layer so, so Linda, is that common different packages of how you do the stage you know how do you how do you decide how that happens because i'm sure some people um i mean i'm sure you can offer everything you could dress up a house to the very best it can be or do you have a way mm -hmm. that we can get you here but if you would do this we can be you could be here is that kind of how you look at it absolutely yeah i mean we do entry level homes will stage a $150,000 home. And okay. you know, sometimes those are the ones that actually get the best bang for the buck because they're, you know, they're small and there's not a lot to them and people walk in and they think, oh, it's, it's tiny. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a box. But if you put the right little adorable furnishings in there to scale, it can look like a dollhouse. And all of a sudden yeah. it becomes this beautiful thing and this, this home and you know, and it really can be just, you know, can really cause buyers. Well, the funny problem. thing about that too is I, I, I feel like that sometimes when you look at a vacant room, as opposed to a room that's, uh, that's staged or furnished, it can look bigger because of the way that it's staged. Exactly. Which yeah. And, and I think sometimes there's a misnomer. People think that an empty room looks bigger without anything in it. And right. it's just the opposite because yeah. there's no point of reference. There's nothing to gauge that. You can walk into a small room and think, oh my gosh, there's no way I'll fit a queen bed in here. And right. you know, we can fit a queen bed and two smaller scale nightstands and lamps, an area rug, a bench. And all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, our cute little desk in the corner. And it's right. comes this dual purpose and you just wouldn't see that if it's empty. Yeah. I, I bet you're seeing a lot of people wanting to take bedrooms and turn them into offices right now. That, yeah, that's kind of the trend. Everybody's working at home right now, obviously. So yeah. those formal living rooms up front that no one ever uses, they're those becoming studies and we're, <laughs> we're staging those as offices all day long. So yeah. Well, Linda, what else, kind of wrapping things up, what else uh, would somebody need to know about Linda and Dazzle? <laughs> well, I would say that, you know, we've been at this a long time. We have a team, we have someone that answers the phone nine to five. Um, if you've got a property that you're considering, you know, if you just like a bid, we can mm -hmm. pretty much give you a, a quote over the phone. Um, if we can get some general information and we can typically get to anything within a few days. I mean, sometimes we've even staged a house the very next day. It's possible wow. depending on um, the time of year, just because we're geared for that. So, um, you know, if you have a question, if there's, you know, property, you're just curious, um, the, you know, prices range there's there, you know, from a small entry level home, it could start out, you know, $1,700 and it can go up into the four and $5,000 for you know, a large um, four or 5,000 square foot home, but, um, you know, it, it always does pay for itself. And um, yeah, like I said, so you've it, got experience, you've got a big warehouse, you can we do, do. time and you <laughs> yeah. can work with just about anything. I think that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think our agents would like that. Yeah. And the other thing too, I will say is because of the size of our company, we buy everything wholesale. So I go to market once or twice a year. We have all of our furniture, we have our unique vendors that we purchase from and they ship direct to our warehouse. So we're not paying retail prices. So we can get a much higher end look at a much better price, which is passed on to the client. So um, that really point. does give us an edge when we can buy in bulk yeah. and um, you know, it, it does definitely help. So oh, that's, that's a, that's a, great point because yeah. putting good stuff in there and people like it and as far as our you know um pricing it's we charge a flat fee we don't do monthly there aren't any hidden costs for installation or anything like that okay. um we give buyers up to six months to sell it which is i mean we, it's unheard of really <laughs> anything <laughs> right, is, now. Is, is, right now yeah so typically our average you know will stage is under contract in two or three weeks and you know we'll have everything back in, in a couple of months. So, um, but yeah, so it's, you know, it's just a flat fee and uh, we try to take the pain off of you guys. And, you know, if you want to have your client call us, we can send them photos also of similar homes to what their, their home looks like and give them an idea, a visual of what to expect. So they're not, um, you know, it kind of takes the anxiety out of it. They know what they're going to get and they can compare that. That's great. And I, Randy and some of the other agents that you, you, you come 
um, with a lot of uh, compliments on your service. So thanks. You've got some great agents in your office. We, we love do. working with you guys. Yes, we, do have, some, we really? do have some great agents, and they mm -hmm. and they like working with you. So we're really really happy, Linda, that you came on board with us as a partner, and and hopefully we can uh, do a lot of good things here in 2021, staging all these homes. Thanks. Yeah, we're. Um... We're pleased to be a part of it and looking forward. Anything that we can do to make your job easier, uh, we're here to help. So just let us know.